It's been a weekend of some pretty extreme highs and lows, and I'm not even talking about the actual rugby. Um, I started the weekend on a pretty good note with a VIP experience at Tokyo Stadium. And then my boss, Kiwi Kate, decided to whoop me back down to earth in record time and sent me hawking. As you can have a beer in your seat, like you don't even have to get up and go queue for it. Someone brings cold beer to you. And um, I was that person. Heineken! Heineken! Konnichiwa! Ah! Oh. So, Peru. Peru? Got it? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Ha! Ha! I won. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like that. What needs to happen next? You've got your little purse, okay. your empty cans. As you can see, green really is my colour. Okay. okay. This is pretty innovative. I've never seen this at a Rugby World Cup. Now I've got a feeling people are going to be thirsty. What do I do? Oh, that's nifty. I'm hearing stories of one super hawker moving 400 beers. What, what is the, the wisdom here? Okay, yeah, that obviously I can do. And I figured I'd take a stab at the unofficial record number of beers sold by a hawker at a mat. I'm, I'm ready so to rumble. Heineken? Heineken? Beer! Would you like a beer? So how many hawkers work at a game? About 300 today. 300? Yeah. Beer! Anyone want a beer? Heineken? Beer? Heineken? Beer! Beer! Oh. Do you want a beer? Yay! Heineken! Heineken! Are oh, you supporting Namibia? Oops, a daisy. Heineken! Heineken! Namibia! Do you want beer? You want beer? I make new one. It's okay. Who are you supporting? Namibia. Yeah. Namibia and you supporting the All Blacks. Namibia! Oops! Not very good. This is his. This is his. I feel like there's a lot of All Blacks in this crowd. I need to go get more beer. Okay, I need to walk soft because if I bounce too much, the beer foams. I'm convinced it's the bouncing and not the pouring skill. Sorry, one beer, New Zealand, then it's extra. I charge you kiwis double. Oh, this is nice. She's in my territory. And so many coins. Okay, but I look now a beer. I'm tired. Cheers. right outside the train station here in Chofu. There is this awesome fan zone. Let me take you on a tour. You are standing here in an all black shirt saying <laughs> Japan is gonna win the World Cup. As it turns out, I really cannot pass and you better not feature that in the show. Here we go. There is an indoor viewing space which looks a bit like a movie cinema um, where people politely clap and don't shout. Very much unlike the outside fan zone. I'm actually from South Africa. Oh, really? oh. I predicted South Africa. No. I, I predicted the Ireland game yeah, last week. I put a bet on them in 2016. Japan will run. Japan will win this World Cup. Thanks very much. Yeah, boy! Rugby World Cup! Monday. Celine makes an interesting point on Twitter and I'd like you to weigh in on the comments section below. If you've seen anyone with bigger calves than Tane Takulua, she says it's just leaving her speechless. Missy is my favorite cat on earth right now, except my own four cats who are back home. I would like Missy to play fullback in my starting cat 15 because Missy is exceptional under the high ball here. Thanks, Chris. Love the Iceland vibes that the French players brought after they beat Tonga with that Viking clap. Give me goosebumps every time. Not sure what's going on here. It does look like they are running at each other and then kissing. <laughs> oh, no, they're tuggies. So cute. My Southern African brothers stunned the world by scoring the first points against the defending champions. Namibia. Did you see Bowden Barrett was the water boy against Namibia yesterday? TJ Peronaro looks like that guy at work who's going to get you into trouble. And then Curtly Beal 
certainly moment of the day. Kathy <laughs> Beale reacting to the streaker at the Australia match the other night, saying, I'm afraid there wasn't much to tackle. My favorite reply came from Silver Spitfire, tweeting, I wish I could unsee that. He's my cousin. So DHL are asking you to select your epic moment from this round and here are the nominees. Go to worldrugby.com to vote. They've regained the restart. Gareth Davis with the interception. Davis should have the pace over the Bernard Foley. And Ashley Cooper can't make it back. And Gareth Davis scores. Oh, five and 99. Three, Clearance one. kick comes to Maitland. Yes, he'll go quickly. Hogg is with them. We've seen this before from Hogg. It's the drop goal! With a little bit of magic in midfield, allowing Louis Picamol to come away with no it. No four! Lost four! On there you come go. the forwards. Manage. It's all your weights. It comes instead to Lopez, that little kick. Raka on the receiving end. Francis second try. Oh. Under 20,000 here in Minnesota. Stadium. Set. break away. Puka Puka gets a pass away on the outside. Tonga. Kupafuna flicks it there. Is he in the corner? <laughs> Another thing that's really big in Japan, besides really cute dogs, is the fish market in Tokyo. I heard that Dan Carter went, and so I asked for special treatment too, and I got it. It's just before five in the morning, although this place is absolutely buzzing. We're at the Toyosu fish market, the biggest fish market in the world. And if you were wondering what this has to do with rugby, I've got good news for you does look a bit like a hospital. It's about 40 hectares under roof here. 40 rugby pitches. If you want to come to Toyosa Fish Market, there's a dedicated viewing platform here where you can watch the action take place, that the action being the tuna auction. Fish. Much like the fan zones at the Rugby World Cup. One, two, See? Apparently the buyers at the auction are checking their red meat on the fish because that's determining how much they want to spend on it. Speaking of red, there are only three countries at this Rugby World Cup who don't have red in their flags. Scotland, Argentina and Uruguay. 40, 50, 60. That floor is green because it contrasts optimally with the red meat of the fish which, as we know, is the all-important thing they judge the value of the product by. The floor is the same color as the rugby pitch, but that's only incidental. It says here that this bluefin tuna was caught here in Japanese waters in 1986. It used to weigh 496 kilograms. Well, ben Tamifuna is the heaviest player at this tournament, and he weighs 151 kilograms. So you can fit three Ben Tamifunas in there and still have fish. some space left over. Fish, fish, fish. I don't know why it says it's a rugby vending machine because there's nothing actually rugby in there. The rugby stuff's back there. Unfortunately, there's no rugby on today, which is really sad for all of us. I know how you're feeling. It's Monday and there's no rugby. But. We would like you to let us know what you've loved so far. So watch back some of those episodes and drop your favorite bit of Rugby World Cup daily in the comments section. For me personally, it would have to be George Gregan riding a carrot. <laughs>